Okay, folks, we're back. We're back again. Now, um... There was a ninja down here, and he seems to have disappeared, so I'm hoping he's just hiding. I'm hoping when my ninja walked a bit closer, he will spot him. Or has he run away, like a coward? Like a snake in the grass. It's rather bizarre. He's nowhere to be seen. Okay, so we have our main ninja here, Mr. Yorimasa, who we know is a five-star assassination ninja. We have this ninja now by the name of Yorimasa the second, apparently. Yorimasa the first? Yorimasa the second! That's not right. He is Yorimasa. And he is Sanetatsu. I don't know why he has the same name though. There you go. Sanyatsu. And he has nothing at the moment, he needs a bit of practice, but he's going to be the sabotaging ninja. So one ninja for assassination, one ninja for sabotage, and these are going to form the old grouping, the old splinter cell from past war, total wars gone by, and they're going to march, march, they're going to walk, they're going to sneak into the lands of the Date for some underhanded tactics. Now because this apparent ninja here has disappeared off the face of this earth. I will keep these ninja here for one more turn just in case he resurfaces and if he doesn't resurface by the end of the next turn then these guys are going to move into the Date lands and carry out their mission. At the end of the last turn we recuperated uh, or rather our Mitsuke recuperated and he's now back in the capital. He is a apprehension four star, counter spying four star and I'm going to keep him in here for now. Main reason? Tokugawa Iyasu. It does wonders for his loyalty. So this Mitsuke will stay and oversee the Daimyo's son, the faction heir. And in the meantime, we shall build the fortress to upgrade our castle town, upgrade its defences. This is our most important uh, settlement after all. A beacon of strength for our clan and thus should be treated as such. And also we will strengthen the defences with the recruitment of two Bo Ashigaru and one Yari. So that takes care of the building and construction work for this turn. Um, this ninja here, because he's surplus to requirements and I was not supposed to be recruited last time, I'm a bit lost as to what to do with him. I could start maybe using him to scout out this side just for a bit of an overview of what's going on over there, but I'll keep him in Mino for now. In fact, I'll probably keep him at Mikawa. So not only has Tokugawa Iyasu got a Mitsuke looking out for his interests, he's also got a ninja as well. So should anybody come wandering too close, well, it'd be rather unfortunate for them. So, ninjas down there looking good. Recruitment work all underway. We now move to diplomacy. Now, as I said, we are trying to keep the Hattori sweet, keep them off our backs, keep them on side, and give ourselves that buffer zone that we need on this side of the map. And to do that, we are going to offer a payment. Welcome, noble friend. There is much to discuss for our mutual benefit. Indeed there is, my friend. A thousand cuckoo I am generously giving to you. What better donation than that, you say? Uh, like a little success is unsurprisingly high. And there we go. And that increases our reputation, does it not? To 57, there you go. A nice chunk, a nice bonus increase to reputation which is always a bonus. So there's the diplomacy sorted. We move further north to the lands of Echigo, where the trade ships are recruited and where they are about to set sail north to the trade post to enhance our trade income even further. It's going to take about two or three turns that, isn't it? Maybe even four. There you go. So he's sailing away happily. Which leaves us with one more thing to do. And that is take our friend, Mr. Mochimori, and capture the last of the Yosegi's lands at this side of the map at Achizen. 
But stand by, I need to get my dinner. Okay, I'm suitably refreshed after just uh, having my dinner. <laughs> if you're interested, it was uh, butternut squash soup with crusty bread and butter. Rather nice. Okay, so we have a bit sucky here. Doing uh, not a right lot at the moment. Noto can cope just fine without him. Uh, but one man could really do with his services, and that is the Daimyo. So he is going to oversee the settlement for now. Go and join up with the uh, Daimyo's army sometime in the near future to oversee and counter spy. For we don't want our Daimyo to be assassinated by some lowly uh, ninja. It would be rather an embarrassment and uh, a rather unfortunate way to go. So, yeah, he's going to go over there to help out the old Daimyo. I don't think there's any further Mitsuki in there. Just double check. Nope. Nope. Excellent. So he's going over there. Uh, as I said, this ninja's down here helping old Tokugawa Iyasu. These ninjas are about to go over to the Dan of the Date. Which leaves us then, as I say, uh, with the... Uh, yes, with Mr. Mochimori. Commander Supreme. Tokugawa Mochimori. He is about to take his army, which is going to consist of pretty much as follows. This guy, oops, a daisy. Take out the ones we don't want. I'm going to take out this one. And I'm going to take out this one. And then I'm going to take out. This one. And the rest of them are going to march towards a cheese. Off he tots. And a chew has a sad face for some reason. Or a mediocre face, whatever face that is. It's not a happy face. It's on a par, just about bear, just about bearing up. Uh, we'll leave it as it is for now. I think there was. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he's heading down now to uh, a cheese -in. and I think. That might do us for this turn. The ships are sailing up. Yeah, that's fine. We're good to go. Once again, waiting with bated breath to see what the old enemy has in store for us next. Well, it seems I'm having no luck with Total War today. It, uh, I've tried. I, tr I tried to save the game, and it crashed. Uh, and then I reloaded it. Did all what I did. <laughs> replayed what I just lost. Try to save it again. Crashed. I did that three times. It crashed me three times before it's now started to work. So I'm going to end the turn after finally doing all my bits for a fourth time. And let's hope it doesn't crash again. And finally, the Date have joined the war against us. It was only a matter of time. We are not having no Namban trade here. Are you crazy? The ninja resurfaces. Which is good because we can now kill him. <laughs> okay. What are we in now? We're in the springtime, the spring of 1563. A good year, I hear. <laughs> I'm hoping. So the Date have declared war on us, have they? Well... Tshishishishish, tut 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 Let's take a look at what we can do about that little uh, predicament. Alright, first of all... Uh, let me get my bearings here as I try and way up my options. Uh, diplomacy. The Hattori. We find ourselves donating to them once again. 
Another thousand cuckoo. Welcome, noble friend. There is much to discuss. I thank you kindly for your agreed kindness on this matter. All right. Secondly, we have Mr. Mochimori about to conquer yet another land. It's a far, 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 far too easy a battle to worry myself with. So, we're going to auto resolve. And we have won quite easily. Hey, thank you! And, for a slight change in pace, we are going not to peacefully occupy on this occasion, but we are going to make ourselves a vassal. The Ikoiki! A person, or a clan rather, with a religion so obscure that even they will probably be far more hated at this moment in time than we are. Plus, I have been informed that uh, vassals, provinces count towards your own in terms of objective for the end game. So that's also a slight bonus, so yes. And we can also ask for their assistance in the war against other clans. So we are going to make the Iko Iki a vassal of the Tokugawa in a sudden twist. And then we shall continue our merry way uh, back to North Shinano. I believe is where he's heading to re-muster his troops and uh, there we go to re-muster his troops, reassess and provide his services no doubt in the upcoming war with the Date. So Mochimori the Conqueror is heading back to North Shinano and the Iko Iki are now our vassals. So a quick peek yep we hold 20 provinces we had 19 before we took it, we now have 20, so it does indeed count towards our victory total. Let's just hope that they do not get ideas up of their stations and start sticking their beaks into my business. So, what was I going to do? Ah ha ha, diplomacy, yes. I have gee hee hee hee, Iku Iki have been revitalized, they're, uh, they're alive. Johnny Five's alive, no, the Iku Iki are alive, and because they are our vassals, they are honor bound. To Welcome, noble friend. demand there is much to discuss to trade with us. Mutual benefit. And there we go, another trade partner which will assist us in the long term with trade. So uh, it's a win win situation. Almost. And in the next turn, we shall ask for their assistance in the war with our enemies. So, yes, that's that little uh, shindig sorted out. As we now find ourselves. Looking at recruitment. Nothing to recruit. Uh, we find ourselves now looking at building work and a military port in Macau. We find ourselves lacking military ports around the land and if we're going to have our enemies landing ships near our shores, particularly the Chosokabe, we need to have the protections in the water as well as on the land. So we're going to start off by having our capital upgrade its port to military status, which we cannot quite afford this time according to the old... Uh, According to the old uh, treasury report, we're going to have to wait until the next time to accrue the funds required to build the military port. So we'll wait till next turn for that, but that will be built. Uh, the ninja stays there. These ninja, here we go. The enemy ninja. This is old Yorimasa. About to claim another life, I'm hoping. Once I get zoomed down enough. No. I want you to kill this idiot. Yes. All oh, just another regular night in the camp, or is it? Sleeping soundly. Oh, that 
sounds like mission success to me. And leaves a knife in his back for added effect. <laughs>